you think they notice if one of the chairs were missing? Oh, we want to earn our keep. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. We want to earn our lunch because that's the way I was brought up. You go and nest down the carbs. I, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because to pay some respects to a very special, inspirational guy. Stephen Hawkins is very well known by many people, not just within the disabled community. I'm Stacy. I'm John. And this is. Holiday really because we're not going to be home till Monday, right? Right. We've still got a fair way on a holiday to go. See what I mean? Do you think they notice if one of the chairs went missing? Probably, because they're going to post a four person caravan. Or, or gives us an idea of a chair anyway. Did you bring your tape measure to measure it? That would have made sense. Mm. But we could do a, we could flip it upside down and see who, who made it. Good Wednesday morning. We actually have found a chair in the caravan who works. Look. Kind of scary. We look normal. There's none of this. Wait, we look normal? Here. Yeah. I don't know. We're, we're, we're normal? Well, as normal as normal could like be. We look normal. That's what it is. I think it's, like, I stink it, it, it's not like... I'm down here and you're up there like normal like, when you're stand up and then when we sit down you're down there and I'm up here and so, um, so today's vlog obviously uh, we will be going out we're on holiday we're on our technically it's our second full day in Devon but our, technically our third day down in Devon but the first day in Devon we were still traveling down from Exeter down to um, it's technically a third full day because it's, we're only an hour from the farm, so technically we still had a full day on Monday, technically. Yeah, technically we just didn't do that much because you got, the one thing everyone's going to remember is we are spending time with family down here. So, um, that's why we decided last night, it took us a long time last night to try and get that vlog uploaded, didn't it? We couldn't do it here in the caravan. We had to go back home to the farm to vlog, upload it. And then I got upset because the only time we could do it was when I wanted to be out helping with the carbs, with bedding the carbs and looking after the carbs. And that's something I really look forward to doing when I'm home. And I missed out on that because I had to upload the vlog. And it was... She was devastated. I was. I was really upset because... <sighs> It brings back memories to me of when I was a child of the things things I can't do now but allows me to still see that I can still do things and I can still be useful to my foster parents. Um, we don't like coming down, you know, we couldn't make this trip without their support, without them feeding us in the evenings. We couldn't physically afford to do this, could we? And we don't want to just go and do nothing we want to help out and, and, and we want to earn our keep yeah, yeah. yeah we want to earn our lunch because that's the way i was brought up you don't take for nothing you give back um, and i know i've been working on a website but that's not the same that's not doing that in order to be fed they're just doing that to be helpful to them that's completely a separate yes the website building the website for them is part of us being I, us, it's just, yeah, being us, and, and and just because we think they're amazing and we love them to pieces, and yeah, so you know, it, it's we're also doing their yearly checkup on their computer, and again, it's not something we ask them to pay us for. It's something we do no, because just, we love them. We want to make sure 
that the little things are done that we could do to help their business and stuff. But for me, the big thing was I lost out on the one thing that I can do to help because I needed to upload the vlog. So we made that decision yesterday whilst we were uploading the vlog from travelling down that we were going to enjoy the time with our family. We will, we will record things and we will um, get everything we can but of I mean, everything we do there's been no uploads that, yeah the, these are not going to be uploaded until we get home and if I can't edit them on the day I don't mind either I'm gonna I'll edit them when I get home because when I get home don't forget I'm gonna be the same as I always am worn out tired ill and that's fine that gives me time to finish editing and uploading these and they'll just go ping 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 upload we are playing around with the idea, I mean I just, just, just said this, Stacey this morning, is we were starting on how to use Instagram. I know a people out there are like, well it's easy. Yeah. Maybe for, easy for you. to you. <laughs> but we're going to, we're thinking about using Instagram to upload pictures throughout the day while we're on holiday. So, so you're not missing us fully because you're not getting into vlogs. Yeah. You get like a couple pictures during the day. Yeah. It won't be every day, but it'd just be, it was something worth that we feel worth sharing. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So our plans for today are going to be we. Um, it's very stormy and yucky down here today. And so windy. I we're going to go up to the farm today. Um, DC's computer, give it a full health check. Yeah. Fix Glenn's iPad, and while he's doing that, I am going to cook some. Uh, not cook some. Make some chocolate Easter nests up there. I was going to do it here but we don't have the right equipment in the caravan for me to do it. So we're going to do it up there. And then we're going to chill out with the family Go and I'm going to go and nest down the calves. I, well, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know because they are saying that I can't do it this time aren't they because of the... You're going to nest them down or bed them down? No, nest them down. I'm not bedding them down, I nest them down. I do it my own way. <laughs> to sit down and talk to you one we needed to explain why we've done our holiday vlogs different this time and I, I hope you can understand and I hope you can respect we need this time with our family we need this break to refresh and recoup you're not going to miss out in the long term because you're still going to get the vlogs you're just going to get them in one rather than every day one as a quick ejection yeah <laughs> but the other reason was we wanted to pay some respects to a very special, inspirational guy. That unfortunately passed away in our hours of this morning, Wednesday morning. Yes. He's an inspiration to disabled people and, uh, and fighting for your rights. And Yes. Stephen Hawkins is very well known by many people, not just within the disabled community, but all over the world for his scientific knowledge and the changes he's made to the scientific world. The extraordinary thing about him was he was a disabled person. He was a disabled man in a wheelchair using an AAC, uh, using an AAC to communicate. AAC standing for Artificial Argumentative Communication. Many people uh, that are disabled will understand how much of a difference to our lives Stephen Hawkins has made because of the fact for once disabled people have been seen as intelligent. The wheelchair was ignored, intelligence of the brain was seen. He, out, he proved that medical people do not know always everything by living over 50 years longer than he was supposed to. Um, and for me that's an inspiration because it just proves that medical people, doctors and all science, doctors and everything do not always know what they're talking about. They don't know the answers to everything. 
he showed the world that disabled people can live just as normal lives as everybody else. They can get married, they can have children, they can have families, they can um, live happy, fulfilled lives. And he did, he showed them that. And everybody will always remember him. Everybody will always remember Stephen Hawkins, the disabled scientist. And I am very, very sad to see him, that he's passed away. Yes. Um, because to me, he's always been an inspiration. Um, and, and I think to some of my family too, because in relation to my problems, their, their outlook has always been, well, look at Stephen Hawkins. And it's still going to be, you know, he lived 50 odd years longer than the doctor said and he proved doctors do not know what they're talking about, so... He's up. It's hard because I try not to cry as I talk about him because he's so inspirational, he really is. And he's, he, he not only... You know, most people are going to remember him for the scientific things that he's done in this world, in, in his lifetime. But there's many disabled people that are going to remember him for different reasons. For the fact that he changed the outlook of what people see from disabled people. He's proved that disabled people can get married, have families, live life, get divorced and get married again. They can do everything that able-bodied people can do, which most people, they look at the wheelchair and it's like, oh wow, isn't it amazing you're out? What? <laughs> you're still human. Yeah. So, he's really opened people's eyes to the world. And for that, I think I'll forever be grateful. It, it kind of makes me think, of that um, you, not a YouTube series, but it's it's a video where they um, it's it's the reversal where everyone that's able-bodied is the special ones, <laughs> and all disabled are the normal ones. I want to see that. And the special ones have to get the the normal ones have to, have to they're treated in the exact way that. That people with disabilities are treated. I want to it's, see it's that video. It's a complete role reversal of it. It's a complete switch around. I definitely want to see that video. It's interesting. But I'm, I mean, I remember doing it when I was in college. I remember taking my. Um, we'd all got split off into these groups to do our performance piece, and we had to find a top subject within the newspapers. And we as a group picked out something to do with, uh, I think, discrimination or the way people treat disabled people. Um, and then what we did is I, I was asked to give every one of them in my little group a disability, which was really strange. So I basically <laughs> tell them, right, you're wheelchair bad and you can't talk. You, you've got to use this board to communicate with the alphabet on. And uh, you're you're deaf, you've got to use sign language. <laughs> um, luckily the person I said was deaf could actually use sign language because her mum was deaf, so she had some experience with the sign language um, and some experience with that well, so it helped, but I wanted to use that as well. And I put everybody in different levels of disability, um, if you like, and then I sent them out shopping. <laughs> And they were not allowed to drop their acting role. And then I think it was like, they, they each one of them went, one, they, they were in groups of, so I split them into twos, one had a disability and one was the carer. And then we'd meet a couple of hours later and have lunch. And even during the lunch process, they had to order their lunch with their communication difficulties, everything. It was pretty amazing. It was wow. so funny. And then after lunch, they had to switch with their carer. So the carer <laughs> became disabled, and the disabled person who was actually disabled became the carer. And they went out for another couple of hours, and then we'd meet for coffee. The experience, they, they then sat with me, and went through their experiences, and it was like hearing my everyday life. Interesting. And we then put that into a drama performance. We made a song about it, and put that in. We made a poem about it, and put that in. 
It was really, really good. It was very powerful. I mean, during the performance, we actually brought a member of the audience down, stuck him in a chair in the middle of the stage, and then we'd all come on in different directions saying things to them, like things that disabled people go through all the time. Yeah, yeah. So, like, staring and gawking at them and saying spastic and cripple, or, you know, all the nasty words and... or, or Oh, isn't it nice to see you? All those things. But this one person on the stage with all of us just running around and that person didn't know what's going to happen. They had that feeling of what it feels like. Yeah. And then they were interviewed afterwards. It was made like a big, look to look like a big press thing. And How are you feeling? How does it make you feel? To the, you know, and they were able to say themselves then. So the people who'd gone and done this active thing out in, in, in um, shopping were able to bring that in onto the stage and make somebody else feel like that and then we did a big performance as well afterwards but we needed to show them how it made somebody else feel before yeah. we did the performance that we weren't just doing that for the fun of it because that made it more powerful <coughs> and yeah it was amazing it was really amazing and then we were asked if we would record it for educational purposes hmm. but Nothing ever came of that. <laughs> Here's a good idea, but I can't do it though. Yeah. It didn't help that I had a tutor at that time who really couldn't get his head around a disabled person acting any part other than a grandma. Oh, he was bad. He was really bad. And then when I, in the end, I, I couldn't, I spent so much time fighting against him um, my health, whereas if I just had to fight against my health, but I spent so much fight time fighting against him and fighting against the transport to get in, I had to give up the course because it just made me too ill. Um, and I was so gutted because I'd done a year and a half of this course, I had six months to go, but I just had nothing left in me. And on my last day when I went to pick up all my equipment to leave, he basically turned around to me because they had this um, visiting company come in and they had a disabled person. And he turned around to me and he says, I've just realised, I've just woke my eyes up seeing that company, that disabled people can perform any role. Like you dumbass. I was like, I just turned around to him and said, let's just hope you remember that for the next time you have a disabled student. <laughs> what did he say back to that? He didn't. He just went quiet and I walked off. Well, rolled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, so we do. We want to spend our deepest respects to... Stephen Hawkins' family, um, and I'm hoping Cambridge are going to do something in mark of respects to Stephen Hawkins, and hopefully we'll be home for that. And um, we may not because obviously we're travelling this week, and he's passed at the beginning of our holiday. No. But we'll see. He is an amazing guy who has changed the lives of disabled people forever, and um, yes. Okay, he's changed science forever, but he's also changed the lives of disabled people forever. And I will always have the utmost respect for him and admiration and, and everything. He inspires me every day. And he always will do. And it can't be easy for the entire world to no, an amazing man. No. And, and I think as well, even in his passing, he is showing such grace and such... I don't really know what the word is, but when have we ever seen a disabled person be admired so much that in passing, when he's passed or they've passed, they have been missed so much. They have been there has been so many messages of outpour um, for the sadness of the loss of a disabled person. Yeah. You know. You just don't see it. You just, you just don't see it. No. I mean, there are going to be many people, sadly, who will forget he's disabled. And he was disabled. Yeah, but that just goes to prove how... how people need to see people with disabilities. Don't see it. Don't look... Don't... Try to for, not really try to forget the disabled, but... Look past the wheelchair yeah, and look, look at the person. It. Look past all the equipment and look at the person, look past the speech problems, look past the physical problems and look at the person as a person because they're the ones that have got so much more to give. 
Because when you don't look at them as a person, they become something different because you would too. Yeah. And if there is some event that happens with, with Stephen Hawking, we will... Yeah, we'll let you know. We'll let you know. And I'm not sure if we'll record any of it because it's the type of thing it will be, but... We'll see. <clears throat> we'll see. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to if it's going to disrespect anything. Yeah, that's all thinking, recording, that type of thing. It, it, it's good if we're remembering him. But is it disrespectful to kind of one of those fine line things? 